my name is Sarah French, and I would shake your hand if I was there in person, but currently it's not exactly quite possible. But uh, to start off, I was 16 when I started this project and when I did a majority of this project. That is why it still says 16. I am now 17 as of February 22nd. So that is a little bit different, but I wasn't quite sure what to put down for that. Um, my healthy lifestyle goal was to increase the time I was on my feet from a total of 40 minutes, which was my cross-country time, for like five-ish miles, to about or around two hours over a two-week period. And I did accomplish this goal to start off, but I used Nike Run Club to track my running, which was a great resource during that time period just to know where I was going for one and to be able to maneuver my running and knowing what was okay for my body and that increase because I didn't want to go overboard and injure myself throughout that two-week period which was something I was very careful of with my dad helping me as an advisor for that. So I did go to the doctor and she gave me some goals that were completely different from the original ones we had talked about, but they are just general helpful tips and habits and lifestyle things that everyone should do. So I did try to incorporate some of those with some of like the healthier eating habits. That was not what my project was focused around, but I did make sure to go along with some of what she said and along with this tried to get enough sleep every night, which was difficult because I had a church thing over the weekend where it was an overnight camp. So I didn't get necessarily as much as I had needed, but I did get enough to the point where my body wasn't hurting or getting injured easier than normal. Um, So as I said before, my original time for this project was five miles, which was 40 minutes. And That was just my cross-country season. That was the most we had really run because we had to be back to the school by a certain time for parents to pick up students and stuff. So that was a big change for me because the first run I went on with my dad, who is a marathon runner, my entire family were full of runners, um, which I guess was what inspired me to do this because I've always wanted to run a marathon. And that's like my end goal for before the end of high school. But that was a big shock to me because I immediately jumped in and I went on an hour and 35 minute run, (laughs) which was not quite what I had planned because the most I was planning on running was like probably eight miles, which is still a big jump. But then we got to a four mile mark on my run with my dad and my dad was like, we only have one more mile to go and then you're going to be at the next town over. So I was like, I want to be able to say I ran to the next town and back. So I went 10 miles, which was double the amount I have ever run before. So that was crazy. (laughs) Um, But then I went on a recovery run after that, and I definitely incorporated these big runs with my recovery runs. And then finally, the last day, I made it to 2 hours, 6 minutes, and 27 seconds, which was a half marathon. So that was a big achievement for me, and I'm over this quarantine and over the last couple months since I've done this I've been continuing this and I put some pictures in there for you to see where I run and it's really peaceful all the time I have some pictures of what I ate during that time and um, I just reiterized all of that about the church camp so there's that and regarding questions because I know that's part of this (laughs) um, I have the questions pulled up that you guys could ask me on my computer So the greatest challenge I faced achieving my goal was probably because during that first week, this is a bit of TMI, but I had my period that week and just getting up to go on a run was probably the roughest thing I could have possibly imagined because I did not want to get up. I did not want to move, but you know what? I still got up and I still went on those runs and stuff. But I did think about giving up as going back to that having my period that week I definitely wanted to give up but I didn't and I think a lot of that was just knowing what my future goal was and what I really wanted to do encouraged me to keep going with it and what surprised me most was 
how much I was able to achieve because that's not something that I could have ever imagined. And I don't think I would start this process all over again if I would change. I don't think I would change anything. I am so proud of myself for what I did and I'm so proud of anyone for just going out and running because that is the hardest thing is just to get up and go. <laughs> and it really is, like people say that, but it really is. It's so hard just to get up, but when you do, it's so rewarding. And what I would use is definitely the resilience that comes with it. Because you hit that point where you feel like you need to give up when you're running because your body is just shutting down from being on your feet for so long and then you just keep going and you just prove to yourself that you can keep going and that resilience I think is something that would really help with everyone in their future. So that's all of the questions that are suggested I guess but that is all for my presentation. Thank you.